let's talk more about my new haircut, my new hairstyle, a subtle faux hawk, low maintenance, of course, because part of being masculine is being low maintenance. So I recently, in my actual timeline, it was just minutes ago, I made a video review of this product, DB Barber, and this is a uh, mattifier, uh, modeling clay, molding clay, pomade, whatever I'm supposed to say, it's that, and you can watch that video. But I just finished making that video, and I thought what would be good is if I leave the bathroom, come back in this room, and let's just let some of the natural light come in, and let's take a look at this hairstyle, knowing that I've just used the product. Uh, I'm very happy about this hairstyle. My wife loves it. She, she saw it. Oh, wow, I love your hair. So one thing different about this haircut is, and I want to basically compare it to the other videos I've more recently published. It's funny because I'm going to be publishing videos, you know, after this one that were filmed before this one. So my, I'm going to have the other hairstyle as it was longer and in need of a haircut, which is funny because the way I know it's time for a haircut is when my sideburns start curling up then it's like, okay, now it's time for a haircut. So it's funny because you are going to see those. You're like, wait, I thought I'd get a haircut. He did. It's just that he had other videos he hadn't published yet. And you'll be able to really kind of see the difference there. Uh, but I'm very happy about the part. And granted, this is a faux hawk, so it has the most length up here on, on the top. But I wanted a subtle part. So I do part it to the right here. Uh, but the main focus is we want a little bit of a mess. We want a little bit of I don't care. But then we also want is to still be pretty conservative, but then you turn around and uh, things are a little, a little bit of a surprise there. Okay, the, the, the fun and the subtleness continues in the back. Okay, uh, that's, that's interesting. Wasn't quite expecting that from a 39 year old man. Uh, so it's funny, I'm uh, someone who just can't really settle on a hairstyle. Uh, either I get it in my blood, oh, I, gotta, I gotta shave my hair off, or uh, how long can I get it? And then I get it about as long as I did, which was pushing three inches on top and then I'm like, okay, now what? Now what can I do uh, for, for a hairstyle? But I think in so many ways, this really, this hairstyle really uh, complements everything I'm, I'm wanting to accomplish. Uh, obviously, you know, my viewership is largely based on guys that are obsessed, am I gonna lose my hair? Uh, and they wanna see what guys look like who do have some hair loss, or receding hairline at least. My, you know, my hair is thinner on top, which again, what, this is a perfect, hairstyle, I think, uh, because it brings the tension up here, brings the bulk up there, and then it also gives you some mass up here, and it thins out the sides, which, you know, there's that's thick hair there, but I'm thinning that out. Gives it more of a uniform uh, approach there. So, I mean, it's funny because it's the idea of the hairstyle in itself, and it's not completely downplaying the receding hairline, the Norwood two and a half. It's still present, but it's not obvious. It downplays it. I just think in so many ways, this is a perfect hairstyle for someone who has a receding hairline. And if you Google it, if you type in, you know, perfect uh, hairstyle for receding hairline, faux hawk is one of the main things that came up. So when I Googled that, I thought, you know what? I haven't really done that in quite a while. I want to do that, but I don't want it to be like an obvious thing. Like I'm, oh, I'm a contestant on American Idol. I want it to be a subtle uh, version of that. So that's exactly uh, what I did. But again, I want to remind everybody, I do have some wave going on in my hair, which is going to add to that bit of uh, adding a cloud of vagueness of just kind of getting away with that. It's not like a spiky haircut really. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around one more time, let you see this. And I want to uh, remind you too uh, that on this channel I've got over 3,000 videos about hair loss. Uh, and yes, that is excessive, but that's a mirror to you. It, it's, I've made those videos based off of your comments. So what I want to remind you all of is, all you have to do is type in Nick Shell and any question you have about hair loss into YouTube and you will find multiple videos. Whatever you can think of that's relevant, you're going to find videos for that. And if you're wondering if you're going to go bald, I can easily predict that for you. You've got to do the work. I'm not going to tell you the answer. I'm going to tell you how to know and then you can tell me the answer if you want to, but I'm not going to tell you. So just look up the video called uh, Nick Shell, Will I Go Bald Test? 2020. You type that into YouTube, you search for that, you're going to find me very clearly explain it. And there would be no reason for you to ask any follow-up questions on that because you do the work. Like there's five things. If you get three or more, that tells you which side of the fence you fall on. And it's really that simple. There's no need to keep asking more questions like, oh, my dad's ball, but my maternal grandfather's. Nope. We're not even going there if it's not one of the five things. So again, you can check out 
Nick Shell Will I Go Ball Test 2020 if you want to check that out. Your comments belong right here.